Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video covering some of the new features and functions in CatSnip. Uh, the R12 release of the CatSnip viewer came out right around the beginning of the year and it's just filled with lots of great new features and great new functions, especially for people who need to manage their inventory and who like to shop. And if you know me, you know I like to shop. So what we're gonna take a look at today is probably one of the most awesome and most anticipated new features inside of CatSnip, and that is the ability to configure and customize the way you accept and work with items in your inventory. Uh, and to do this, we're actually gonna go out and go shopping. But before we do that, uh, when I go shopping, I always demo things first. So we're gonna set some stuff up to allow me to collect a demo. We'll try that demo on, and then we'll turn it around into a shopping trip. And I wanna show you how this feature can work for you from start to finish. So here I am in my new Skybox, and I'm ready to go shopping. I've got my closet right here ready for new clothes. What do I need to do? I need to go out and find and demo some things to wear. So let's go into our inventory, and let's get this thing set up. Okay. So what we're going to do in our inventory here is I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new folder and I'm going to call it uh, exclamation point exclamation point new purchases. It can be whatever you want. I call it new purchases because that uh, brings it up to the top of my list. Uh, here's another neat new feature though. I can actually right click on this new purchases folder and I can choose show as system folder. Now this is going to do two things. Number one, it's going to move it way up to the top of my inventory. That's really cool because now it's super handy. It's right where I need it to be. But even more importantly is it's now, at least according to Catsnip, a system folder. I can right click on it, but I can't delete it. Can't delete it by accident because I don't want to delete my folder that's filled with all of my new purchases. Pretty cool. Another great new feature of R12. But let's take a look at setting up our accept in folders and like I said we're going to be going out and we're going to be grabbing some demos we're going to be trying them on and then we're going to be shopping for them so under my new purchases folder I'm going to create a new folder called demos now you're probably asking all right what does all of this mean you're not really telling me what we're going to be doing I didn't really want to spoil it I want to actually show you how this works so let's set this up to make it so that this demo folder can accept new demos that we buy. So down here in my inventory window, if you don't have your inventory open, you can go to me and in inventory or press control I. Uh, we have our, our uh, options button down here at the bottom. And underneath this, there's an option here called configure accept in folders. And we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And you're gonna get this brand new dialogue accept in destination folders. And what this does is it lets us configure exactly how we accept new items that we receive when we buy them. So let's go ahead and add one to use with this brand new demos folder we created. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add at the top. And then down underneath here, I'm going to create the actual details of what goes into this demo folder. So I'm gonna call this friendly name demos. And that's just what gets used inside of here so you know what it is. And then for the folder path, I'm going to click Browse, and I'm going to select that Demos folder we just created. So now when I buy new demos, it's, I can put them directly into that folder without having to go find them. I don't have to put them in objects first and move them there. They'll just go right there. Now, that's pretty cool. It's really nice to be able to separate out the different things that you buy right when you buy them and not have to go through your objects folder later on or go through the root of your inventory later on to figure out where all your new stuff went. This gets even better though, because we can define automatic subfolders to get created as we purchase things. Now we're gonna be going out to an event and we're gonna be getting some demos there. I go out and get demos at events all the time. And I go to Famished and Uber and Collaborate 88 and all of these different events and I grab up lots of demos. And the worst thing is forgetting where you got it. So at the very bottom down here, you can see this cheat sheet for all of the different things we can use to create subfolders. 
We can put in the year as a two digits. We can put in the month as two digits. We can put in the day as two digits. We can put in the year as four digits. We can put in the month as the full word. And really awesomely, we can put in the region. So let's say we want to know the region that we got something in and the month that we bought it in. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll type in to this subfolder. We're gonna type in uh, percent region space and we're going to go ahead and put in the full month name. So we'll go ahead and type in percent MMM. So that's what these two are right here. So if I was at my region, which is called Splendid Place, and I bought a demo here and put in this folder, it would put into a folder called Splendid Place January, for example. All right, so I've got this all set up. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. So we're set right there. Go ahead and save this out. Now we need to go buy something. Let's hop over to Famish really quick. Let me go to my places. We'll go to famished. And off we go. So if you haven't been, famished is a pretty big event. And it's probably going to be a little bit busy here. But I happen to know that at famished this round, there is a sweater dress from Neve. And I haven't actually tried it on yet. But here it is from Neve. And I'll come right up to it here, and here's my demo. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click to buy this demo. Now, normally the demo would go into my objects folder or into the root of my inventory. But when I click on this, what I'm gonna get is this window here. And it's got this brand new box right here that says accept in. Now, I can browse to any folder on my inventory and accept it in that folder automatically. I don't have to have anything pre-set up. I can just browse to it and do that. I can click this wrench icon and get back into this folder and create a brand new folder if I haven't done one already. Or I can just click this drop down and there's that demos folder that we had earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that and I'm gonna choose buy. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy for Zero Lindens this demo. And now if I go into my inventory and look in my demo folder, I've got a new folder automatically created for me called Famished January. So that's the name of the region we're in, Famished. And underneath there's my Neve demo. Pretty cool, huh? So this is the power of this brand new feature. It basically allows you to automatically organize your inventory as you go through and do this, all right? So let's go ahead and just try another demo here, just so I can show you how it works with multiple things. So here's another item here. It's also got a demo. I can go ahead and click on that. Here's the listing, it says demos, I click on buy, and I've got a new demo. Pretty easy, right? And so I can now go back to my house, I can try these demos on, they're all in the right spot. Once I know which ones I want, I can come back here, and let's say I decided, yeah, I wanna get one of these dresses, uh, one of these sweater dresses. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this Ombers pack right here, all right? And I go ahead and click on it, um, oh, I have do not disturb on. Let's go ahead and turn that off quick. Yep. And here comes all my pop-ups. There we go. Uh, so choose okay. So this is going to cost me 350 linden. So I'll go ahead and buy it. Now, I've got my pop-up up here, and this is where my new item is coming in. But it's asking me, do I want to accept it in demos? Well, this isn't a demo anymore. This is actually a purchase from an event. So let's go ahead and create a brand new accept in folder to keep the things that we get at events in. So I'm gonna click on configure folders and I'm gonna choose add and I'm gonna call this event purchases just to differentiate it from things that I get at stores. And I'll go ahead and click browse and I'm gonna go ahead and put in my new purchases folder but I didn't actually create a new folder for it so hmm. I'm going to right-click and choose New Folder. And it creates a new folder, and I can right-click and rename it, and I'm going to call it Events. Press Enter, and I'll choose Select. So now it's going to store it in this new folder called New Purchases Events. And for the subfolder, I think I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'll go ahead and put Region. But this time, rather than putting the full name, I'm just going to go ahead and put the, um, the digits of the month. So I'll put percent MM instead of three Ms. I'm going to click Save, oops, make sure I save my entry first, that way it gets at the top, and then click Save. There we go. 
Now I come here to Event Purchases, which is the one I just created, and I'll choose Keep. And then I come back over here in my inventory. I've now got this new folder underneath New Purchases. Here's my demos. Here's my events, and here's Famished from the 01 month, which is this month. There's one more really neat trick about this. So you notice with our demos that they came in a folder. They weren't boxed, so we didn't really have to do anything with them. Let's jump back over to my place. And I want to show you what happens when we open up this box that we got for the item that we actually purchased. So I'm going to go ahead and take this box from Neve, and I'm going to go ahead and res it out like I normally would. So here's this brand new box, and if you haven't seen the boxes from Neve, they're pretty neat. They pause and jump around, so it's right here, it's resed out. I'm going to go ahead and click on it to open that box up, and there it goes. Boom. <laughs> All right, so now let's take a look at this. It's telling me I want to accept in. And you'll notice it's got this word object here in front of it. This box, when it's resed out, knows, or the viewer, I should say, knows that this box was resed from inside of this folder. And so when I choose keep, I can choose to put it either in demos or event purchases or any other folder I want, or I can say, you know what, put it back in the folder that it came from. And I click on keep, and there it is. It goes right back to that same folder. This is really, really cool when you're trying to find a way to open up a bunch of demos or open up a bunch of new purchases and keep them all in the same spot so they don't jump around your inventory. Now this feature isn't perfect. Sometimes it won't be able to detect the right folder. Some of the scripted unboxers don't work very well with it. Sometimes the region is laggy or slow and it just has a hard time, I think, detecting it. There are some reasons why it won't work perfectly, but a good 90 some percent of the time it works exactly as it's supposed to and it's a huge help at keeping your purchases and things organized in your inventory this is a, a, a pretty cool feature like i said from your inventory down here configure accept in folders you can create these however you want you can create as many accept in folders as you want to do whatever you want with them um, and it makes um for, for a really awesome shopping experience that you can now kind of have this one spot where all of your new purchases go to. They're organized automatically for you exactly how you want them to be. And you can add and delete these as often as needed. Uh, so as you go to new events and things like that, you can create them however makes the most sense for you. Uh, so this is Acceptin, and it's a great brand new feature in only in Catsnip and only in the Catsnip R12 release. Um, give it a try. Uh, download Catsnip, uh, especially if you're a shopper. This is going to save you a ton of time and, uh, and really, really improve your shopping experience, I think, in Second Life, especially from an inventory management perspective. Uh, I will include a link in the description below on how to download Catsnip. And if you have any questions about this feature or any of the other features, uh, Join us in World in the group, or just send me a message and I'll try and help. Uh, we'll be covering some more of the new features soon, so keep, uh, keep uh, your eye on this channel. Subscribe, like the videos, etc. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks.